hello guys welcome back to my channel again so in this video we are going to see animated toggle buttons in our flutter application so let's start with our video so here we have our demo application and we have an in selected index and the list of options that we want for example first second last okay so let's start so before that what you can do is let's go to pub.dev and search for animated toggle go to installing copy this dependencies then go to your pubspec.yaml file paste it here and install it in your system so once this is get installed what you will do is we'll simply go to our demo app once we are in our demo application we will start inside our body let's say we want our body and for the demo we will have one column inside column let's say we will have our animated horizontal toggle okay so now here are the required parameters so this is the tabs so here tabs inside tabs we will give our options so first of all let's have these options proper so inside tabs we will give our options no errors so with what we will do is we will simply have our media query dot of index dot size dot our width let's say minus 40 and height say we will give let's say 200 okay and for the duration we will have to pass the duration that is required and that animation will use to show when we will click on the tabs we'll have our 200 milliseconds let's save the app so here we can see our toggle buttons so let's reduce the height a little bit let's give it 40 so now we will wrap our toggle button in the center widget okay so let's tap on our toggle button and we can see the animated toggle buttons okay so what we will do next is let's say we have our expanded widget and inside this widget we will have a center widget and in the center we'll have our text and we'll give it our options and we will have our selected row index okay so let's just save the application so we can see the first but how we can change as i am selecting the index it is not reflecting right so we have other options inside our animated horizontal toggle such as initial index and active inactive color you can change the active inactive color first of all we can let's change our active inactive color let's save color colors dot red okay let's just save the app we have our red color okay and then we have our initial index let's keep it to zero or if we will keeping it to two and we will hot restart our application so that our initial index is getting implemented and as you can see our initial index is two so that is why the last option is selected okay so we will have our initial index to zero and we have our on change where we get our current index and target index 
okay so here we get our current index and target index so what we will do is we will simply use our set state and we have our selected row index or oh, let's just call it as a selected index so selected index is equal to our current index okay here we will change our selected index so now we will change our toggle buttons so here first option is selected second button is selected and the last button is selected similarly what we can do is we can simply have our let's have a animated vertical toggle okay so here as well we have the similar option called tabs let's create a new list of options and we'll call it as new options we'll keep this same we'll have another new selected index to zero and now let's just change the properties so inside tabs we will pass our new options for vertical we will give the width let's just say 80 and the height would be let's just say as 100 okay and for the duration we will have our duration in milliseconds 200 milliseconds okay so let's just save the app so as you can see we have this vertical toggle we are getting render flex errors as the height is slow or the less let's just give it a height of 200 and let's just give it a width of let's just say 70 okay so now it looks much nice okay so we will give our active color active border color height let's give it okay, colors dot green we have our inactive color colors dot let's just say white or let's just say black so as you can see we have this sort of thing we will more customize it using another properties which are like background colors and all for now we will change our background color colors dot let's just say blue we will give it a light shade of 200 okay so similarly we'll wrap our animated toggle inside row okay and we will save the app we'll give it a padding from all let's just say age oh well, let's give it a padding of 20 and now similarly we will use an expanded widget and we'll give it a center and a child of text we'll pass our new options and our new option new selected index okay similarly inside the on change of our vertical toggle we will set our current index and our target index and we'll use set state new selected index is equal to our current index okay let's just save the app so here now i will change the vertical toggle button to second and our option is getting reflected here so last 
it is last and first it is first so this is how you can use this animated vertical toggle and animated horizontal toggle button inside your flutter application and hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next tutorial thank you and subscribe to my channel